Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. This is project number four of Gift Bag Week and it's just a really nice, cute little handbag style. Um, I've attached the handle with little brads on the back. I've heat embossed all the paper myself with the Enchanted Gold Paper Mania embossing powder. It's really, really sparkly this one. You can just see it picking it up there in the light. I'll show the back of it, it's beautiful. Um, the daisy flower is from my very, very well used um, daisy dyes, which I purchased from um, a Chinese um, shop on eBay, so I'll share the link. I've shared it before in previous videos, but for those of you who haven't got it, I will share it. Um, but it's brilliant, this one, really, really nice. And um, yeah, and then I've just put the little um, uh, flap there with a Velcro dot, and then you can see inside you've got a nice nice little size there to put any treats in. So it's really straightforward to um, make. It's also another flat pack one. So again, easy to store away. Um, and it's, yeah, beautiful. I love it. I think that the, the paper just really sets it off. So let's crack on and make this one. So I'm going to do a different colourway. So I've done... I've already heat embossed this paper. And I'll put a quick little video on now. So you can just see how i done that. So that was just a quick video just so you can just see how, how effective that embossing powder is. Um, I've got two white brads. I've got a piece of cardstock that measures 11 and 3 quarters by 8 and a quarter. So it's just standard default um, A4 paper. Um, and then I've already die cut a little daisy there and finished it all off with the matching embossing um, embossed uh, paper. And then this um, for the handle here, this measures 8 inches by 3 eighths of an inch. Okay. So grab your scoreboard, just pop them to one side. And on the reverse, always um, score on the reverse if you've ever um, done any heat embossing on your card. Um, it will just stop it, um, you know, you kind of scratching it or cracking it and things like that. So always do it on the other side. Um, plus this is easy for you to see um, in the video as well. So along um, the eight and three quarters, or it might be eight and five um, eighths of an inch, the A4 does kind of vary a bit, but don't worry, because that's just a tab at the end to just attach it. So it might be slightly shorter or slightly longer, but it won't affect the, the bag, so don't worry. Um, so your first scoring is gonna be at four inches all the way down. Then your second score is going to be at four and three quarters of an inch, but you just want to score down to six inches. Okay, so just down there, just the six inches. If you want to get a ruler and kind of lie that at the six inch mark, um, just so you get a rough kind of end there, that's you can do. And then you want to score again at five and a half inches all the way down. Then at nine and a half inches all the way down. Then at ten and a quarter, again down to six inches. And then final one is 11 inches all the way down. Okay, then rotate it onto the eight and a quarter inch side. And you want to score at one and a half inches all the way down to the bottom. And then you want to score at two and a quarter from the first score line. Okay, so again, grab your ruler, line it up at your two and a quarter inch, and then just hover it down across that first bit because that's the front of your box and then start it from that second score line all the way down to the end and then you want to do another score line at six inches all the way down okay so that's all the scoring there keep your score pen because we just need to do those little triangles there with the ruler so just grab your ruler and you want to join the bottom of that um, score line that you've done down to six inches you want to just join it 
to the corner of the little rectangle box that would have formed below it, just like so. And this would just give you that little triangle which makes the box fold flat. It just makes it nice and neat. So just make sure you get them all corner to corner. And you should be able to make it out. There we go, if I just hold it there, you can see where you need to have all your score lines. Okay. Oops, sorry, I'll just sit back down again. Okay, so what we need to do now is burnish all of our edges. So I'm just going to fold mine over. It doesn't crack, but I am just going to be a bit careful with this. Now, some of the lines you won't be able to fold, so don't worry, um, because they will all fold into place when we obviously put it all together. Uh, yeah, so you won't be able to really do much with this line here. You won't be able to fold that one because if you do, you're going to get a fold along this front piece, and you don't want that because it's going to ruin the um, the final look of the bag. But you can just pinch down that one to that triangle, like so, because they're going to go inwards anyway. And you can start to see there how the box is all going to come together. Okay, so what we need to do now is some cutting. So grab. Where did I put my other oh, yeah. My yellow scissors. So this is the front. Yeah, so you've got the tab on your right hand side. So rotate it so the tab's now facing away from you. And you want to cut along this first top score line really neatly because that's what's going to be on show. And just cut all the way along. You want to go past that first score line. Pass that second one up to that third. So one, two, would be the third score line you're cutting up to. And then just cut down. And this is the flap that goes over the top. So again, make sure it's really, really nice and neat, like so. And now cut down the other side of the flap. And rotate again. And then just cut from that other end all the way up to the corner of that flap. Okay, so that's how the top will look. Then the bottom, you just want to cut up that first score line. Then again, up the second score line. Third one, and that last one. And then you're just going to cut that end bit off, because that's the tab. So again, with that tab on the end, just notch off the edges. And then just go along and just shear off a little bit of the edges here. Just again, just to give it a nice finish when you all come to folding it together. Like so. Okay. So what you can do now is if you've got a corner punch, just corner punch the edges of that flap. You don't have to, don't worry, you might have a different shape corner punch, but I just think it looks quite nice. You can see there where the edges are just kind of rounded off. Um, okay, what next, what next? Ah, hole punch. So I'm just going to grab my hole punch here. And so you've got your flap facing you here. Just go in from the corner and just, you kind of need to just judge this roughly where you want it to go. But you can see there, I've got mine which is coming in at uh, half an inch from the you know one of the sides inwards and then down is a quarter of an inch okay so again just do that on that other side roughly there we go that do so we've got all that in place now we can start putting it together so turn it over on this side now because i've heat embossed mine i need to use the red tape because the normal double-sided tape won't stick to that rough kind of embossed surface. But um, any tape if you're just using normal paper. But I'm going to make sure I use my red tape to hold this all down. Like so. And then turn it over, fold that one in. And then it should again just all line up nicely together. Like so. You can pinch all the sides down in a minute when we're done. And then the bottom, so the front one you want to um, put down last. So the back one here I'm going to do first. 
and then I'm going to put the two tabs and then the last one um, that front tab on top so I'm just going to put some tacky glue on those just to hold it all down and again and then turn it upside down grab a ruler it might need a little bit longer because again it's got that rough surface with the um, embossing Right, so now we need a Velcro dot, so I've just got my um, brand of Velcro, these are tiny little ones which are, again I'll put all the links in my blog, put it in the middle of your lid and then close that down, like so. And then you need to put your handle on the back. So grab that one. Oh, yeah, I need to put the flower on as well. Let me grab my hole punch again. So you just want to go in about a quarter of an inch. You can see there how far I've gone in. Just do that on both ends. Like so. And then grab your brads. Pick it up. And you just want to feed that through, split them out, and then when you bring it over, you want to the same side that's facing up, it's the same side that's going to be stuck down that side with the brad. If you go like that, then you'll get it all curved and it's a bit odd to hold. Whereas if you just hold it exactly the same and twist it round, then it's a nice handle. tape again actually because that's going to be on that embossing just get that nice and centered there we go like so and then what you want to do with the size is just put your finger in push it in and then where that line is it will naturally fall down and fold flat you can kind of just push all the sides so it all matches up and then you've got a nice fold flat bag and that's it done it's so quick and easy and um, like I said mine took a bit longer because I embossed my paper but any papers will work nicely with this you can see there my handle goes the other way so if that's the case you can just flip it over like so and just round it off a little bit there we go really really nice I love these and I think they'd be lovely um, for a little girl's birthday party for little birthday bags and um, party bags because they're like little handbags they're dinky they're nice and also wedding favours things like that you know how it goes but there you go hope you like this one um, please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to the channel to see more thanks for watching bye, bye.